Good morning, spacemen. Welcome to Space Operations Delta. I'm your captain, Captain Collins, and welcome to another episode of X4 Foundations. Today, we're going to talk about the best S-Class ships. The fastest, the strongest, and the best miners and traders. <laughs> so let's jump right into the game so that we can take a look at all of these ships. And we're starting with the best S-Class miners or cargo haulers. Haulers. And this is a Magpie, a Magpie Vanguard or a Magpie Sentinel would be even better. These are basically the biggest ships as an S-Class ship that you can get. So if you want to do something with cargo or with minerals, then this is your go-to ship. Please keep in mind that there are no S-Class gas miners. There are just S-Class mineral miners. So that could be your starting point if you want to do, for example, Nividium mining. Stats as for this one, I will always show in the top right corner so you can see the stats a little bit better what I'm talking about. Oh, and by the way, you can buy these from the Taladi ones. If you don't want to buy anything from the Taladi, you can also get a Courier, which is an Argon or Antigone ship. Next S-Class ship we're talking about is the Pegasus Vanguard. In this case, the Pegasus Sentinel. The Vanguard version of this one is the fastest ship you can get in the entire game. This ship is a Paranid ship and it will give you the fastest you can go. As you can see in the stats, this is the Formula 1 car of the X4 universe. You will not get anything more faster than this one here. But of course you're lacking some other stats, it just has one forward facing gun. But this could be for example a good ship if you're hunting lockboxes because you just need one single gun to open lockboxes and you get there really really fast. The next one I would really like you to show in space but actually I do not have the free families around. So this would be an Asp Raider. And Asp Raider has got the highest acceleration in the game. So it is a very good ship to fly around big objects. So it accelerates really fast and it's very, very versatile. The next best maximum acceleration ship in the game would be this one. This is a Balor. That's also a split one, but th this one you can get at every single faction from the split. And what is also good about the Balor is that it is the second, not only the second best maximum acceleration ship, but it's also the second best maximum hull ship. So you have the two second spots with the Balor. And also, if you look at it, it has four forward facing weapons. So that's not even that bad. Actually, when I did my first Raptor, I put just 21 Balors on it and they were doing a lot of damage as a fleet. Although for maximum hull, there is another S-Class ship which is better than the Balor and this is this one here, the Chimera. The Chimera has got even more hull than the Balor and what is also pretty good, as you can see here, it has got five forward facing weapons. So it's even a harder hitter than the Balor. So the Chimera is one of the contestants for best ship in the game for an S-Class fighter. But there is another one which is even better. But the next thing we're gonna talk about is which one is the most agile one. And there I found one that's not only the one with the maximum acceleration, but it's also the fastest turning ship in the game and it's an Asp Raider. The Asp Raider has got just a flaw. It is a glass cannon. It has got a very, very, very low hull integrity and therefore I would not consider taking this ship as a fleet or anything. But maybe for your own ship, if you want to have something fun, something fast accelerating and something fast turning, then this Asp Raider could be your thing. Well, and the second best fast turning ship is uh, some ship that I think we all know if we started playing X4. And there it is. It's our most beloved elite Vanguard. This one is the second best fast turning ship in the game. But now let's talk about something else which gives you a real advantage in fights. The next ship is the one with the most weapons on it. 
And the ship with the most weapons on it is this thing here. It's a Pulsar Vanguard, which is, by the way, just available as the Vanguard version. And this beauty has got six forward facing weapons. So if you need a lot of damage output, this is your go to ship. That way you can put a lot more weapons on an S class fighter squadron whoops, than on any other S class fighter. But for now, let's have a look at the best S class fighter I would consider overall as a package for your game. And this is by no means an objective view on this. This is completely subjective view while we're looking at this dude swiveling around. So the next one would be a, there you go, an Aris fighter. This ship is, I think, the best S-Class fighter you can get in this game at the moment. We're not talking about the Cradle of Humanity DLC, but as you can see on the top, we have three shields this is the only S-Class fighter which has three shields. You have four forward-facing weapons. And you have a very good hull integrity, as you can see on the top right corner in the stats. This is what I would say and what I would consider the best S-Class fighter in the game. But there is, of course, other choices. There are, like, other preferences for me, for example, I use a lot of Eclipse Vanguards because I just like them. That was my first ever fully modded ship in the game. But as I would do a new playthrough, I would take an Aris because this thing packs a lot of damage and can take a lot of damage. And with this subjective view, I am calling you that you write me in the comments which S-Class ships you like the most. And we can talk about that in the comments or in the Discord. That was me for today. Next video, we will talk about M-Class ships. So, let's see us there. I'm out. I'm Captain Collins. See you soon. Bye.